Hi everybody. I live in the city of Oro Grande and Oro Grande is uh, in California. It's between Victorville and Barstow. The reason I'm making this documentary here is because they have abused us. The city officials have not. This is our park. This is supposed to be what our children are supposed to play in. They never clean it up. This is our community center that they just left completely um, boarded up. Our children cannot play here or anything. Um, they don't do, all they do is mow the lawn. You, as you can see, um, they don't trim the trees. They don't do basically anything to this city. Um, they're charging us $200 a month in water, and that covers only the septic and the facility fee. They do not cover any, um, um, the, the, so our monthly bill is between five and 900 a month because of that. As you see, we live next to railroad tracks off of National Trail Highway. Now, what I wanted to show you is what they're doing. These railroad tracks here, and this is daily, Santa Fe Railroad. They block our entrances to where ambulances cannot come in. Um, that they, they, uh, they block it daily. Like I said, that's why I'm doing this. I'm, I'm trying to show you guys what they're doing to us. You see the area has not been cleaned up. These guys have been sitting here for most the whole day. It is now 1.37. They've been here since early this morning. And as you see, they have blocked our entrance. We, the only alternative entrance, and I'm going to show you that in a minute, um, is an underground thing. And if the weather is bad, it blocks it. You cannot go through that way. There's been times when we have had emergencies, a baby has fallen, and um, we've had emergencies where they, as you can see, it's blocked our entrances. Um, like I said, there's been an emergencies where baby has a baby has fallen, and they're just now moving this. I mean, that was eight hours ago. They're just now moving it. That's pretty nice, isn't it? As you can see, the city of Oro Grande, the only good part of Oro Grande is they, um, their school. Their schools uh, are cleaned up and nice, but they neglect us. We have public works that are supposed to come and clean our area, but they never do that. They never clean up our area. We have to do it ourselves. And we're supposed to be paying for that through our water system and all that. We're supposed to be paying for that. I'm just kind of giving you a little bit of the area, letting you see what's going on. You see how dirty it is? They don't clean up the streets. They don't clean up anything. Uh, they basically leave us in a situation where we don't, we don't have nothing clean. Everything's just messed up. Uh, they overcharge us. Um, I was told that they skim off the, they're taking uh, big paychecks and they're leaving us with nothing. Like I said, here's the school. Look how nice the school is. This is a private Riverside Prep school. And you see how nice this is. Everything's all cleaned up, no weeds or nothing like that. Everything's all really pretty. But if you look over on this side, there's the weeds. They don't do anything for us. Basically, they treat us like dogs. But like I said, over on the school side, it's all nice and pretty and everything. And this public works cleans this up, but they don't clean our side up. They basically throw us away. That's why I've decided, you know what, I'm going to make a documentary to where the world sees what public works is doing Loving Good is doing, all of them are doing. Now see, look at the yards here. This is the street. They're supposed to be cleaning these weeds up. They don't clean them up. They basically, look at that. I mean, they don't care. This is supposed to be the, the Park and Recreational Repair Center right there that we just passed. You see, they, they don't clean nothing. And over here, um, 
like I said, these are all fire hazards. They'll code and force us to death, but they will not. Look at this. This is our park. Do you see the trees? How the trees haven't been cut, trimmed, or anything in a long time. You can tell they've, it's been years. It's been years. They don't care about our children. They don't care about anything. All they care about is getting that money out of our house property taxes. Um, they're, they're very, very bad about that. I don't know if I can get the camera to do this, but I'm going to show you also right here. This is our churches. The outside, they've just tore the places up. And that's what I'm trying to show you, that they, they don't care. And it's time for us to make a, um, some kind of a protest. Because they, they don't give a crap about us. We need help. Um, they uh, A couple of years ago, they gave us a grant for our cemetery. They stole that grant, a grant and only gave us a, a fence. So the cemetery got nothing except for a fence. And they kept the money. They kept saying it was liens against the property of a cemetery. These are for the... the um, the memory of the miners that used to be here, because this is a historical area. This is this area where they, they, they're supposed to look as a history, because uh, coal. Uh, this was uh, that's why they call it Oro Grand, because it's the city of gold, where they, the miners used to, um, you know, do the gold. As you see, again, here's the church. Look what they, they don't even clean up. This is public works. Public works is supposed to come and clean all this up so that we won't have any fires. This um, company, um, Cement Mill, um, you can see where the, the plants are dying because of the chemicals that they're displaying out. You can see where the, the, they don't care about us. They, I, I'm just letting you see... I hope I'm not being boring, but I, I just want everybody to see what they're doing to us. They don't care. And I hope, I hope you guys can push like to basically help us protest. I mean, make a comment. Uh, you see the trees right there we just passed. Those are years of not doing nothing. And right now you're going to see the train tracks again. This is where we're, um, when they block our entranceway, like I said, here's all the, all the trees haven't been fixed. It looks dirty. They don't care about us. You can tell that. Um, they don't want to fix nothing, but yet we have to pay into this. We have to pay into this. Now here, you're going to see is the, where we got to come out in because they blocked the entranceway. You see, this is where we have to come in. And when it rains, it closes up. There's no way we can get out. Like I said, if we needed an emergency or something, we wouldn't be able to fix that. As you see right here, this is a historical landmark right here. This is the Mohawk gas station. They won't even clean this up. And this is public works. They're supposed to be cleaning the streets. You see, they ain't doing that. They ain't doing any of it. They don't care that they're putting us through all of this. Now, like I said, uh, I don't mean to repeat what I'm saying. I'm just, you know, I'm tired and I'm going to be making a lot of these documentaries because I'm tired of the way they keep everything nasty with us. But when it comes to that uh, Riverside Prep, which is putting liens on our properties under the table, because I've um, I've had to remove it a couple of times. I'm not being uh, one of those uh, what do they call those uh, people that you know are paranoid. I'm not that. I mean, I was checking my credit and I found out they had put liens on my property. Um, there's what they're trying to do is take everybody's property. There's 127 houses. Um, I'm just now passing the town. Um, but you can see the school, they are well groomed. This is the high school. They're well groomed. City has cleaned up the area uh, and everything like that. But here on our side, nothing. Nothing. 
there. Uh, we just passed all the school, as you can see. They have basically, you know, they, they won't clean up the streets. Everything is a mess. The trees are dying because they're not groomed, they're not taken care of. Um, we pay this. We pay our, our congressmen to do this. We pay our city uh, dues. We pay all that to do this. But you see, they don't care about our town. I'm asking you, please, everybody, if you can share and push like, and that way um, we can we can um, maybe get um, Loving Good and the city officials to understand that we're not going to stop this. We are going to fight. So please, I'm asking you with all my heart, please help us. Please. And this is the end of my thing. I thank you for your time.